boat and there's a sail and the sail's kind of crooked and you've got forces. Okay, so I'll label the forces with red. You've got the force of the keel that it labels over here. And you've got the force of the sail that's over here. <clears throat> and so the first piece of this is to break the force of the sail down into the X and Y components. Force of sail X, force of sail Y. And figuring out which angle is which is a bit of a trick. It gives you this angle here. Um, it's 30 degrees. Where is that angle in this triangle? That's a trick. No one. Yeah. Okay, so here's how you figure this out. Slide your triangle up here so you get corners mixed, corners to corners. Okay, so here's the sail, and then here's your perpendicular and your x and y components. Okay, if this one here is 30, that means that this is 60 because x and y are perpendicular. Now here's your sail and the force of the sail is perpendicular to that which means from here to here is 60 from here to here is 90 which means that this is 30. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay so that means this is 30. So What's going to be your equation for f of the sail in the x direction? It's going to be delta, no, yeah, cosine of 30 times epsilon. Yes. Versus sail times cosine of 30. Okay. And same. F S Y, what's that gonna be? Sine of 30 times zero. Okay, now, so that's the first kind of tricky part. That's not too bad though. Mm -hmm. The trickiest part comes in this in the wording of the problem. It says the force exerted by the wind on the sailboat is a, is approximately perpendicular to the sail and proportional to the component of wind velocity perpendicular to the sail. Let me read that again. <laughs> Proportional to the component of the wind velocity perpendicular to the sail. Okay? So, <clears throat> you've got a 16 knot wind, or what is, what's your speed? 18. You've got an 18 knot wind, wind speed. So your V, speed of the wind, is 18 knots, which is a unit of measure that they use in sailing all the time. Actually, pilots use it too in, in flying. It's nautical miles per hour. And then it, it gives you the conversion to meters per second. So to convert that to meters per second, it tells you is it 0.514? So one knot is 0.514 meters per second. Okay, so that's the speed of the wind. <clears throat> but the force of the sail is 550 times the speed of the wind that's perpendicular to the sail, not just the sp speed of the wind. 
Does that make sense? So, okay, so did you punch this out? What'd you get here? I haven't punched it out. Okay. What'd you say? Um, 18 times 0.514. Punch that out again. Okay. Oh, that's what I meant. 9.352. That makes more sense. 9.252. 252. Okay. Meters per second. Okay. And it tells us which way is the wind blowing? East. It's blowing straight east. So the wind is blowing here. Is that perpendicular to the sail? What does the equation call for? The component of the wind that is perpendicular to the sail. And that's the tricky part about this problem, is realizing that. Does that make sense? So you've got to break this vector down into a component that's perpendicular to the sail. So let me draw that over here and draw the wind So there's the speed of the wind. It can be broken down into parallel and perpendicular parts. So one part is parallel to the sail, and then perpendicular to that is here. So this is speed of the wind that's parallel. This is speed of the wind that's perpendicular. And they are necessarily perpendicular to each other. Now with all that said, do you know any angles in this triangle, in this blue triangle here? Yeah, one of those two angles is 30, right? Mm -hmm. Which one? I don't know, I have to figure it out every time. <laughs> so I'm going to draw this, and the key is putting corner to corner. So let me take this triangle and slide it up there so it's on that corner, so I'm going to draw it down here. So the speed is here, the speed of the wind is there, and I'm going to draw the parallel part that's parallel to this line, parallel to the sail, and the perpendicular part. Okay, so this is 90, and we know that's 30 down there. Okay, so what does that make this angle? This one's 60, right? And this and this are perpendicular, right? So what does that make this angle? So this angle here is 30. Does that make sense? So use this blue triangle use the blue triangle to find that. Once you find the perpendicular component of wind, plug it in this equation to get the force of the sail. Once you get the force of the sail, plug that in here to get the force of the sail in the y direction, because that's the force that makes the boat go forwards. Is that the initial, the initial yes. acceleration? Exactly, and then you can just use <laughs> F equals MA to find acceleration. Okay, okay. does that make sense? So, so down on the top part of that. this goes there, and <clears throat> this, goes here, and this goes there. <laughs> it's like a Dr. Seuss problem. 